Hi everyone, Designer Brickell here with another video for you. Uh, first thing what I like to say is that I am so sorry I haven't posted in a couple weeks. I got really sick all through March and had some really bad viral cough and I could not use my voice at all so I apologize. I haven't been posting. I, I've also just gotten busy trying to catch up with homework because as, as most of you know I'm working on my technical apparel degree but anyway i'm here now with a new video and some new updates for you if you are new to this channel i am all about sewing and fashion related videos i've received my associate's degree in fashion design and merchandising and working on my technical apparel so i'm just inspired to help those who love fashion and maybe you want to design your own looks or just for sewing and if that's something you're interested in please hit subscribe and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to design and put together a cohesive collection that makes sense and is perfect for your brand. So let's, so first thing I'd like to announce though for some new news is I am actually working on a new collection for my next fashion show, which will be held September 17th in Ogden, Utah. It is for a charity show. It's for the Walking for Gold fashion show that helps children that have cancer. So I will be attending that fashion show and I am creating a five piece look for girls and a five piece look for men. So a total of a 10 look show. So if that's something you're interested in and you'd like to come down to Utah, or if you are in Utah, I will give more updates on that. Please be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll be posting more updates on that as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So the first thing you want to do before designing a collection is you need to decide who you are as a designer. Like what is your aesthetic? Who are you designing for? What is your niche? So for an example, I'm more streetwear. I like to design clothes that are, are for everyday wear that you can wear to work. You can maybe dress it up for a night out. Um, later, I like to maybe go into more formal, but for right now, I'm just focusing on streetwear. Um, the other thing I wanna add is you really wanna think about where is your customer wearing these designs? So really think about who your target market is and who and where your customer is is and where they are going to go like a coffee shop to work every day what is their job what, what do they do at their job how are they going to be comfortable how's it going to be durable you want to really think of all of these details to make sure that your collection makes sense and so that you have customers that are interested in your looks and will buy them. Before you first decide on any designs, um, other than figuring out who you are as a designer, who you want to design for, you need to decide on a mood board. So what and who inspires you? This can be people, music, animals, colors, like everything and anything that inspires you. Put it together in a mood board and later you can go back and break it down if you need to to a smaller mood board of, of the things that inspire you the most so just pick everything that inspires you you know what are your colors who are your people why do they inspire you you can write notes on the side um for example i as you guys know i love audrey hepburn she's such an inspiration to me so maybe i'll put in a picture of audrey hepburn and then i'll just explain she inspires me because she's, you know, a fashion icon. She's very elegant, very sophisticated. She she wears these black clothes, but then she's very bright at the same time. So just really get everything that's in your head and put it down in a notebook or, you know, digital if you have like a laptop. After you decide what your mood board is and what really makes sense to you, the next thing is you want to decide on how many looks you want to do. If you want to do a mini collection, that is about five looks. And if you want to do a bigger collection, that's about 20. The other thing is I would look up different fashion shows like Chanel, Gucci, all those other different 
bigger names and really pay attention to how many looks they have and um, fabrics and colors. And I'll get to that in just a moment. So really just pay attention to what other designers are doing. And if you can learn something from that and take away from that on what you can do as a designer, that would be great. Now, I'm not saying the like steal anyone's idea, but just kind of get an understanding what you should do that will help you make sense of your collection. Okay, and then the next, after you decide how many looks you want to do, if you're also if you're designing for male, female, you know, who your customer is, you know, what their aesthetic is, what style, the next thing you want to do is just decide on your fabrics. Now, if you are doing a mini collection, I would suggest doing about three to five different kinds of fabrics. Now, you don't want to do too many fabrics because that might overwhelm you and then the collection won't seem as cohesive. And it's, it, it's, it, it is important to make it cohesive because if you don't have it look, you know, cohesive, then it's just going to look like this crazy rainbow and just kind of a mess in a way. But, um, so anyway, so decide on about three to five fabrics. If it's a bigger collection, maybe about five to ten different fabrics. The next thing you want to do is decide on your colors. And I would do a minimum of three to five different color sizes, both for the, you know, bigger size collection and the smaller size collection. Because again, you don't want this like crazy rainbow in your face. Um, I guess if that's your aesthetic, you can go ahead and go for it. But to really keep it organized and together, I would go with about three to five different colors. And then you can also do an option of about one to two prints to go with it, but that's just an option. Um, yeah, so other than that, let me go ahead and I'll show you guys what collection that I am working on that will be available in September for the show and I am, will also be having a booth so if this is an item that you see that you guys are interested in and, and would love, I would love to sell it to you. So let me go ahead and show you what I have over here. So <clears throat> I want to show you guys this just to give you guys an example on what I'm doing. I like to hang it on my wall just to like keep really keep me motivated not that like I don't have any motivation but it's just reminding me of what I need to do like how the pattern should be made and just to keep my brain flowing so this is going to be the women's side as you see here I've only picked about two colors I picked this dark plum color and this black and then my fabrics are going to be a scuba knit a waxy denim uh, let's see, a silk, I can't remember what else, so scuba, waxy denim, a silk, and then this pretty mesh color. And then on the other side, I really wanted to uh, challenge myself. I haven't ever done a men's collection yet, so I'll be doing a men's collection as well. So I'll be doing a scuba knit, a leather waxy denim and just a soft knit for t-shirts so yeah i'm really excited on creating this collection i do want to keep it somewhat of a surprise but i think what i'll do is why i'll while i am creating these looks i'll go ahead and show you the pattern process and hopefully this will teach you guys new tips and tricks and then I'm not going to show you the final results until my show. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, while I'm getting ready for this show, I am slowly building my brand. I just finished, um, oh, sorry, I just finished registering my business through the government. So that should be good. And then I have, that's another thing that you need to do in creating a collection that I want to add is give yourself deadlines and due dates when things are due. Like for an example, since I have till September, I'm gonna give myself about a month or two to create all the patterns, make sure all the fit is good. And then I'm gonna give myself about a month to sew just because 
when, for example, for me, when I'm creating a pattern, it, I'd rather take more time on the pattern than the sewing just to make sure the fit is correct. Plus, I've been sewing for a while, so sewing is pretty easy and goes by fast for me. But yeah, again, it's just that's just an, an example. But give yourself deadlines and due dates to make sure that your collection is finished by the time you want it to be finished. And even if you don't have a show coming up, still give yourself a deadline so you can get stuff done and keep yourself motivated. And yeah, so I just want to show you guys, I have, I have this binder where I keep all of my designs in, my fabric swatches, just everything and anything. And I've given myself this big to-do list and dates when I need to get it done. So that way I'm not going to feel overwhelmed and I will for sure get everything done by September. And that that's not only including my collection, but this is also including products for my booth. So you guys can get some of my products. Um, so yeah, I... I'm really excited for this collection and I'm really excited to finally do the work. I feel like I've been going to school for quite some time so I I just have this month so just a couple more weeks and I'm gonna be done and I will have both my fashion design degree and now my technical apparel degree so yeah I'm excited. I'm gonna keep uh, more updates for you guys and if there's a video recommendation you guys maybe want to learn how to sew or make patterns or there's maybe a certain type of pattern you want to you've always been wanting to make comment down below let me know and yeah I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and um, keep a lookout for more updates thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye